All right, we got another game. I'm excited. Let's do it. This one was submitted by Vilden. True or false? All creep tumors decloak after the game when you're destroying the Zerg like that. False. They are still invisible. Even after the Zerg leaves the game. You and Winter, no competition. You're 11 million times more attractive. Of course I am. Of course I am. In the top right, the red Zerg player. Hulk. I'm not allowed to use a certain adjective before that name without being sued into oblivion by Disney. In the bottom left, it is Vilden, the man who gave us this wonderful replay. Jordan Sniper says, do we have any info for WCS 2020? And if any is says, no. Nobody tells me nothing. As a self-employed contractor, they will not tell me a single thing until, well, they're hiring me basically. So I still don't know. All right, hatchery is gonna start in the natural. So no fast pool, which it feels weird because the last couple games I've been casting, we've been getting some pool firsts from uh, Zerg players across the board. So I don't know. I don't know why I'm like, oh, yes, it's worth me telling you this, guys. But no, 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 it's people have been cheesy, man. Zergs have been cheesy. That's not even true, Nate. They just the other guy went like defensive pool first. OK, you know what I mean? You get it. All right. It's it's becoming an anomaly to not go pool first this day and age. 20, 2020, man. Oh, I can't believe I'm saying it. 2020 crazy year already. Crazy year already. 2020 now veiled in went for what looked like it was going to be a reaper expand but instead he just builds the marine he has the scv scout he sees uh, the timing of everything so he knows no cheddar coming his way to be perfectly honest if i was gonna if it was gonna be cheddar i'd prefer a um sharp yellow tillamook cheddar it's a very good option personally if you ask me it's the best but nobody's asking me and that's okay so I feel like this is what, build two Marines and then factory reactor? Just a standard, this is just a Hellion expand. This is a reactor Hellion expand is what it looks like. No, he's going to start another barracks and build a react. Mm, this is interesting. I find this crazy greedy, but Vilden did SCV scout that there is no, look at this, look at this guy. <laughs> you don't see that very often. Yeah, you got found, you got found out. What an insane year. 2020 is already ridiculous. That's right. It's the first day unless you're Australian. Well, as a person who plays on the Americas region, I am technically an Australian citizen. So eat it. Oh, thank you for the $5 tip. I don't know. Cheers, brother. My man. Looks like Hulk is going to lose his overlord. I hope that one day you come visit Detroit. I can show you downtown. Go to a nice restaurant then to Greek Town Casino for an amazing night out. Then at the end of the night, when we've had a great time, I bust a cab in your bitch ass for talking shit. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm not going to Detroit. I did that one Red Bull event there. Somebody broke into the AV truck in the hotel parking lot the one night before the event when we brought everything in. And I had to ride in a, I had to ride in that van the next day with garbage bags over the windows. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cause they were like, someone got abducted. Roddy got abducted in one of the cabs. So Red Bull's like, just take our AV trucks to the studio. That's going to be a hell no nah for me. Hell no. Nah. Plus then you're surrounded by the most depressed people on earth. Lions fans. Ugh. Vipers out here looking for the mothership Roddy. Yeah, Roddy gets into a cab. Everyone in chat writes Minus 400 400 So it's a carapace opening from Hulk which people sometimes do with roaches, but it's also a uh, carapace openings are really good versus Terrans that go for battle cruisers I, you know, I guess Carapace in general is just a good upgrade, frankly speaking. It's going to help. It takes one more hit for Hellions to kill drones. Takes uh, several more hits for Marines to kill anything. And it completely nullifies Battlecruiser openings because they just... Their DPS is so heavily affected by armor. It's not even fun. His experience in Miami was also pretty funny. Well, 
The problem with Rotterdam is he's so attractive. It goes to like magnet levels, right? Like he just attracts everything. Not even just thirsty fangirls, but like everything. Criminal enterprise, fortune, fame. Of course the ladies, but at the same time, shady cab drivers and uh, well, honestly, everybody in Miami is a douchebag, especially if you choose to be there. So I'm not surprised bad things happen to him there. This is why Nathanius doesn't, you know, I don't go to Florida. I don't do well in Florida. You know, if you're, if you're from the Northeast United States, you pretty much have a vendetta against everybody in the Southeast. That's just programmed into you because, uh, because we won the civil war and then the West coast, you're like, oh yeah, Hollywood, that's the magical fairy tale land. I'll never go to. And now that I live in the magical fairy tale land, I'm okay with that. Yeah, but still Florida. Also, the dolphins. We got a little marine drop in the main base here. As the overlord looks like it's going to die inside the base of Vielden. Just eight marines, no combat shield, but no banelings. And uh, the queen actually did not target fire down that medevac very well. I think he should have picked. Oh, man. Oh, he's not even going to kill the queen. Oof. Kill la queen. Not enough. Well, it gets another drop at the third base at the same time. All right. All right, Vielden getting a little bit of work done, buddy. Florida doesn't do well with you either, Nathan. I don't know what to tell you. If I want to live somewhere hot and expensive, at least Southern California isn't humid. Also, people don't, people don't, <laughs> don't what is it? The bath salts? They just do cocaine. Which while also very messed up and illegal, will not mess you up like bath salts and cause you to eat other people's faces. Although I guess I don't read the local news that often, so maybe I'm missing out. Third command center coming in. I like this. Vilden's macro has been pretty solid. He's got a good amount of uh, units flying around. Hulk has taken a little bit of damage. Six drones picked off, but he had to crank out so many lings. He actually still has so many. He's got 60 zerglings. So he's not really ahead economically. This double drop. Oh, is it really a double drop? I don't know. The beta vac, I guess, is what you would call that one. The fat finger, that F2 key. One medevac goes down. Now, this, see, this is the danger zone because he's going to load everything up. Okay, who I was going to say, if he tried to save that last Marine, he definitely loses. Definitely loses that. Another drop over at the third base. He's having a little bit of a struggle, though, right? That carapace opening makes it so hard to kill the Lings, makes it so hard to kill the Queens. And at the same time, because of the way that he's attacking with these drops, he's not actually clearing out the creep spread. So... Hulk, who's now getting his plus two carapace. His lings are unkillable. I actually feel like there's an opportunity for Hulk to try and smash that third base, perhaps. Patriots are going to spank the Titans. Oh my God. Well, this, this game will probably go live on YouTube after that happens. But, um, I believe in the Titans. Also, Patriots. Something smells really good in my apartment. Did you make cinnamon rolls, Katie? Is that why you're in my Twitch chat right now? Are you waiting for me to comment on it? Because if you did, I'd really love some cinnamon rolls. Spire, infestation pit. Yeah, pretty standard schmandard uh, kosher Terran versus Zerg going on over here. Nothing super crazy. Let's see. 1-1 one, one is finishing. Good amount of medevacs. My concern for Vilden is he's basically Marine King priming this game. He doesn't have any tanks with his army. And I don't think tanks are that great for moving out. But I don't think that this... Oh, actually, you know what? It's kind of weird, right? Because there's no melee upgrades. It's only just now starting for Hulk. So his lings are going to be chunky. A little bit tanky. But they actually won't do that much damage. Because now there's an upgrade advantage on armor. Because Vilden has plus one attack, so he's only down one upgrade there. But those lings are not going to really do a lot of damage to the Marines. Is it Platinum? Oh, this game is from GSL Codes round of 16. He's building a lot of Banelings. 43. G good God. That's... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. When you meet up for your Tinder date, and this is what's waiting for you at the Starbucks counter. Run away! 
there's no support units. It's getting a Thor and some Liberators, but eh. I guess the real question becomes, we have Pathogen Glands. Is the Zerg player going to go like Ultraling Bane? Then the, then the Liberators become better. I don't think the Thor is really necessary. It can be a good tanking unit if the Zerg player isn't careful with their Banelings. You could blow up quite a few Banes onto it. But I really feel like we should have seen some Drilling Claw Widow Mines. I think Drilling Claw Widow Mines are the best. Like Bio Mine is... If you want to play Bio versus Zerg, Bio Mine is the best way to do it. I think Siege Tanks are really bad versus Zerg if you're playing Bio because Terran Bio already has the biggest weakness that they're... It costs hit points to stim and move across the map, but the tanks are just not that mobile. So the Banelings are just going to crash into this and kill everything. Yeah, he's, he's trying to split, but... Well... The glove doesn't fit, so he has to quit. Is that is that how it goes? I don't know. I think that trial happened when I was being conceived. So plus one melee will finally finish for the Zerg. And you can see the Lings really didn't do a whole lot to the Marines. But there's no medevacs over here, so he's got to boost everything on over. He's going to focus down this hatch, sieges the Lib. This is actually so incredibly risky. I can't believe that he did this multi-prong attack without the medevacs there. And as long as the Banes aren't here, he's fine. But I would try to lift up the Marines or let them all die. Okay. Hmm. The smell is the absence of a certain bed frame that your strong ass GF handle on her own. I told you I'd help you. I told you we could do it together. Katie is a fascinating creature. She gets off on being useful. And it drives me wild. One Corruptor to kill this Liberator. I mean, Vildan's getting some great harass damage done on the back foot of this. Despite the fact that he has reached Hive. What are you doing? Hulk, no! 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 Look at the drones! That's in the chat for these drones. Oh, God. Another one. 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 How many kills? How many kills? 41! 41. 41 kills! Oh, yeah. Yeah, GSL round of 420. Excuse me. How could I make such a callous mistake? I mean, at least he's got good skins. So he's got that going for him, which is nice. Yeah, all these are going to be on the YouTube. I've been having one go live every day. So if you're looking for some StarCraft quality content to action... There'll be plenty more to go. I've got like eight games to upload from this week that I've been able to cast. So those will all be up on YouTube over the next couple of weeks. The goal is to just have one go live every day and just try to put a YouTube video up every single day this year. If I can get a good enough backlog of games, then theoretically it should be easy. Even when I have to go out of town for a week for an event. Because I can just have so many. I could have like 30 videos queued up. I've got like 10 videos to upload tonight. How does this guy have 5,000 minerals floating? Well, he doesn't. So there you go. Also, I mean, he was waiting for his ultralist cavern to finish. Cut the guy some slack. <laughs> Whenever someone's like, why does this guy have so much money? I'm like, well, does he have a Templar archives finishing up? Yeah. Warps in 14 high Templar. I'm like, there you go. Anyway, ultras are coming out. Plus two melee is almost done, but he's got to be careful about the Banes. Pull the Marines back. Banelings have yet to make those big money connections. Actually, really good splitting by the Terra player and the Liberators ripping and tearing into those Ultralisks. Plus three is not done yet. Neither is Kindness, so these Marines are actually still packing quite a wallop to the Zerg tier three. That one or two Ultra count is not going to be enough. Look how much damage the Marines do. He needs those upgrades, but unfortunately, he's being pushed into his own base. If I was the Terran player, I'm stimming. I'm stimming and A moving into this as hard as possible. Kill those Ultras before the upgrades run. Okay, Kitness is ready. Ultralists are getting dummy thick at this point, but the Liberators are still doing all of the damage necessary to finish this off. Look at that Ultra fighting underneath. That one Marine died. Oh my God, killed every single Ultra. If he had been able to force that fight and kill them before the Kitness is done, I think Vilden wins right there. Honestly, I think Vilden's already won the game. If, you know, don't need a... PhD to guess that one though I suppose the Thor has you so confused well the Thor is the Thor exists to be a tank that's all the Thor does not take bonus damage from Banelings and it has one armor by default which makes it a little bit chunky 
So you put it in front, let the lings and bane lings crash into it. Crash into me. And then, then the marines kill everything. This liberator is just running and gunning. But how are you going to stop? Is there any bane lings? Nope. There's just three ultras. Oh, this got to be it. Vielden's going to kill him. Great liberator siege ups. The splitting in that last fight was perfect too. And his harass was also phenomenal. Shout out to the 41 kill liberator. Goodness gracious. Yeah. Stick a fork in it, guys. This game's done. Just like those. I can smell the cinnamon rolls. Oh, man. I'm assuming they're in the oven if they haven't been brought to me yet. <clears throat> Why the Thor over a few siege tanks? Because siege tanks and mines have to siege. Thor's just. They just do their thing. The old ultralisks are coming in. And look at this. Beating back into the liberation zones. Yeah, you're not fighting in that. No, you're not fighting in that. Come chase me. Chase me. Chosen one. This liberator. Oh, another one. Another one. Another one. Another. Okay, well, he's not. Another one. Another one. Just cleaning it up. We got Drano over here. Drano the liberator. So powerful and strong, your landlord doesn't want you putting it down the drain. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Bielden. Bielden earned this one. This is a well, very well played game on World of Resident Sleepers. There's so many <laughs> liberators. Man, didn't you get pathogen glands 20 minutes ago? No infestors to support the ultras. That's just a big oof. You're going to need some meals to open this. Oh, I thought he was going to I thought he was going to drop meals. I thought he was going to drop mules, but he keeps on forgetting. At this point, yeah, he's just going to siege up the entrance to the natural. The Zerg can't really do anything here. Ultra is going to run out, but the Libs still get a ton of damage done. And he just can't fight the rest of the army. Yeah, no, send the Thors backwards. Send the bio forward. G to the E to the G to the E to the G. You, you crazy. What you're doing now will bring you great success, Nate. Keep up the good streams and happy new years. Thank you, Mexican dance. I love you. If you had to be a Mexican dance, which one would you be? Like La Cucaracha or something? Is that... I don't know. Is that inappropriate for me to say? I love you. G to the E to the G, baby. Title of my next rap album. G! 1G! Gotta get some 1Gs in the chat, boys. Summit fam, where we at? Good job, Vilden. That was actually pretty, that was a pretty entertaining game. I mean, there wasn't really a whole lot of chaos, but I liked it. I liked, I liked what I saw. Thank you, my dude.